everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's me Zoe, and in today's video I have my October project use it up update, so I'm going to update you guys first on what I used up this month and my items for next month, so yeah. We'll start with things in my hands. Um, the first thing is the Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash. My goal was to use it up halfway and it is right there. Wait a look right there so it is halfway completed so this is gonna go back into my shelf stash collection thing because that was just a sub in body wash for um, this month and I did end up completely using my Dove Gentle Exfoliating which you would have seen in my hydro my empties for September so yeah I did use those up the next things I used up I have to use up tonight or today, whatever, um, which is September 20th, so before October, which is a rare, rare deal that I use up almost everything, you know, before then. But I used up the Ruby Apple and Rosewood Fine Fragrance Mist, and those are Gala Apple, Autumn Peony, and Soft Suede. I have really plugged those, so if I can't sell stuff right, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just a, a slightly fruity, woodsy kind of... I don't know. Ambery. Sorry, I'm in there. There's not, but it has like a nice deepness and it definitely has a woodsy, apple-y, amazing scent that I absolutely enjoy. I also used up the Sweater Weather Fine Fragrance Mist. The notes are Sunkrest Apple, Autumn Leaves, and Orchard Woods. It smells so good. It's just a fresh, clean, apple-y scent and although I did not pick it up this year, I would consider picking it up next year. Well, okay, honestly, I'll probably end up picking it up at some ale sale if they have it, um, just so I can use it next year, but that'll depend on my stash, what's happening back there, and I really do want to focus on not overbuying for my stash because I don't want to have to buy another shelf, although it would look pretty cool. I don't need that much stuff. Anyways, now I can bring the bag over. It's completely full. I also used up the Sweater Weather Shower Gel. Again, the notes are blue slices, or apple skies and blue slices. Oh my gosh, apple slices, blue skies, and fresh breeze. This is the winter version of Sweater Weather from 2020. This is from 2021. Yeah, so a year apart, but I do enjoy this one better. It's just a little fruitier and um, less of a masculine kind of smell, although in my opinion, it's not very masculine in the first place. <sighs> okay, next we have the Coco Shea Cucumber Moisturizing Body Wash. It just has cocoa butter and shea butter and cucumber water. It smells so good. I did end up pairing this with the Ruby Apple and Rosewood set that I have. Because I didn't have a body wash. It's a very nice formula. I do think these are very moisturizing, yet they are still very bubbly. And the next thing I used up is the Sweater Weather Body Lotion. This did match in packaging as well with the mist. I did actually enjoy the faceted look in the gray. It was just so like aesthetically pleasing and minimalistic and beautiful. I'd use this up. There's a little coating on the edges, but I can't really get that out. Um, so it smells so good. I used all of my lotions um, as in char lotions except for one. But um, I do enjoy using the Morris Inchai lotions, and I'll use, like, a more unscented or gentle lotion outside of the shower because sometimes they can irritate my skin, but sometimes they don't, like the body creams and lotions from Bath & Body just because of fragrance. Um, so, yeah, I typically use them in shower where I can wash them off pretty quickly. But I still get the moisturizing property. And then out of the shower, I'll use, like, my Bath & Body massage oils or small business oils. Or body butters or something like um more gentle on my skin so yeah the next thing i used up is the ruby apple and rosewood body cream i did really enjoy this again and um yeah i think from now on i'm gonna focus more on getting the mists and the lotions for sets because i don't really like the body cream formula as an intro lotion i just use it as an intro lotion because it is so thick and they just go bad so fast that I personally prefer the lotions um, and I just like the creamier consistency. So yeah. 
Anyways, the next thing I used up is the Marshall Pumpkin Latte Mist. The notes are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, and creamy sandalwood. I do really love this scent. It was a slightly creamy, there's not really a coffee smell, but maybe the tiniest bit, um, with like a slightly spiced pumpkin, maybe a hint of clove or something like that. Also like this, I don't know, like, like a jasmine vanilla essence. It was very perfumey, but also fall gourmand. It's kind of weird, but I do love it. And I did actually purchase a backup mist and lotion already. So yeah, I did enjoy that one. Another thing I enjoyed, I enjoyed, is coconut candy apple fine fragrance mist. The notes are candy red apple, shredded coconut, and vanilla spice. If you can see back there, I bought two more. Um, it smells so good. This is my favorite scent. It is so strong. This honestly was really hard to use up, just because it was so strong, um, but I did use it up, and I enjoyed it enough to get two backups. I also used up the Marshall Pumpkin Latte Body Cream. The notes are different, actually, than the mist. The notes in here are Pumpkin Latte, Toast Marshmallows, Creamy Sandalwood, and Praline Musk. I used this one. Um, this one was a tiny, tiny bit. It was very, very yellow, and it smells definitely more creamy and less of that perfume essence than the um the mist so yeah i also used the coconut candy apple and the notes are the same this one was also very focus those are also very yellow and this one did have less of a strong apple note and more of like creamy vanilla which i think is just because of the body cream formula yeah i also used up the sweet whiskey char gel the notes are golden amber sweet or vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries. Um, if you saw my mid-month product use it up update, I hate that scent and I know a lot of you guys love it and it must smell good on you, but there's nothing like it smelled like BO or bad on me. The scent just made me feel sick. So I don't know if that was something where I just, my stomach hurt in the first place, I don't know, but that scent is ruined now for me. But I don't, I didn't think it smelled bad like in the tube or so. It must smell good on you guys, but it doesn't um, make me feel great. So I also used up the brown sugar and fig shower gel. The notes are fresh fig, coconut milk, and caramelized brown sugar. And these two, those two scents, um, I feel like those are the two, this is like the first time I've really ever had something like that I used and bought and I thought I liked that really did not agree with me because this did not smell like um, brown sugar or coconut milk. It smelled like a fresh, like outdoorsy fig and I just really didn't like it and it smelled like that in the bottle but it was sealed so I couldn't really smell it when I bought it but I just don't know why it smelled so different anyways I also have the brown sugar and fig this is the really old ultra shea um formula and this one was actually not very yellow but and like I said in my other video this definitely smells more like the brown sugar and coconut milk and I don't understand why I did that. I also used up the Sweet Whiskey Celestial Body Scrub. Hated the formula on this. The Body Cream as well as the Diamond Shimmer Mist. I don't like Diamond Shimmer Mist. I don't like Celestial Body Scrubs. I didn't like this one either so I feel like this was a huge like body care flop month but whatever. I also used up the Pumpkin Picking Fine Fragrance Mist. It says it was inspired by cinnamon, spiced cider, fresh pumpkin pie, and here it's the patch. I love this. Bath and Bikes, please bring this back again. Not in this packaging, like updated packaging, but not the fast collection. Don't do it if you do it. So yeah, I love it and it needs to come back because it's a lot of people's favorite or one of their fall favorites. Anyways, I also, uh, I also used up the mist and this one was definitely super light. I could actually pretty much not smell it at all. So yeah. Um, and the other thing that I only used up a little under half, or a little over half, is my Midnight Amber Glow set, and I didn't actually add this to the project that I, I said, I said this in my first video. I didn't add this to the project to use it up, I added it to test it, and I don't personally think that I'll be getting a backup set. Now, if I consecutively wear this for, I don't know, a week straight and I fall in love with it, obviously I'll get a back set, a backup set. Um, the notes are smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. I feel like it, there's 50-50 on this fragrance. A lot of people love it, and a lot of people are just not sure about the, how they feel. I am one of those. 
So I'm like about there on the mist. Um, this one's self-explanatory. I have a little over half left. This one I've only used a few times. Um, and the lotion, I was about there. So I did enjoy the lotion. Um, this is the only lotion I didn't that I didn't have in the shower. And I kind of use it as a base with my other fragrances, but it's a very nice fragrance. If anything, I think I do enjoy the lotion and the moisturizing body wash the best. So if I were to get it in the future and I still don't absolutely love it, love it, yeah, just get those two and pair it with something else. So yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, 11 minutes in, um, it is time for this month's stuff. So let's start off with the volunteer body washes for a set of two. This is the Soft Soap Body Macadamia Oil and Soft Peony Body Wash. This is a very perfumey, yet sweet perfumey kind of scent. You definitely get the peony oil, but you also get that macadamia soft, like nutty, kind of perfumey um, vibe. So yeah, I'm using this and I'm very excited because I love Soft Soap Body Washes. I hope this one works just as well in terms of not breaking me out like the coconut butter scrub does but I don't expect it to like take away acne or anything that's not what I'm saying but yeah so um so basically I have two sets and each of the set is gonna take half of the body wash um but yeah you guys would have seen this in my hygiene print use up anyways uh, the first set that's taken half of it is the starlit night body lotion and a fine fragrance mist the notes in this one are snowberry, midnight iris, and sensual agarwood. And I feel like last month I basically only had like perfumey, or sorry, gourmand or like fruity fragrances. So I decided I need to do one of my perfumey fragrances because I really have quite a few of them and I don't use them very often. And it's so nice. It definitely is, in my opinion, very similar to the Twinkling Midnight Sky. But it has a more perfumey, deep um, essence to it. I really do enjoy it. I don't know if I'm able to finish this up because it is quite strong on first spritz. I don't know like this super long longevity but it is kind of like a strong fragrance on first spritz although it is very soft as well so I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with this one but I do like it so yeah it definitely smells more fruity on my skin which I'm enjoying so yeah and the other body wash that's going with this or the other set that's going with that body wash is the Champagne Sprinkles Body Cream and Fine Fragrance Mist. If you know anything about my declutters or or watched many past videos, I used to have this set and I had the shower gel as well and I decluttered it and sold it on Mercari and I got it again because I realized this is really good actually. And so this was made in 2021 on the 107th day. The notes are sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles. So yeah, I got these two. Um, I think this is super yellow. Yeah, it is super, this is probably one of the yellowest body creams ever. Um, but yeah, it smells so good. Um, I love it so much. But it is definitely a creamy, cakey, fruity scent. Very nice, but also very fakey in a way. So I think I'm going to enjoy it, but we'll see how I feel when I get closer to using it, obviously. Um, I'll be using these items tomorrow, which is the first, so it's earlier than I start some of my products. So I hope that'll give me some extra time to focus on these and really immerse myself into them. So next, the volunteer body wash is the St. Ives Oatmeal and Shea Butter Soothing Body Wash. I plan on using a path of this. It's just very nice, soft, creamy scent. Um, if you want to know more in-depth reviews, and not reviews, just talking about these items. Go watch my heading. Project is up. I'll probably link it down below. I hope. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, and that body wash is going to be used with the pumpkin cupcake set. This is from the 2021 fall collection, so last year. Packaging super cute. Um, very like cupcakes at Tiffany's esque, I guess. Um, the notes are whipped buttercream, pumpkin spice, and vanilla cake batter. Let's check the yellowness on this body cream. Okay, so this one is certainly here. Certainly not as bad. Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to block some light. It's not as bad. Um, it is yellow, but it's more of a brown color, which happens like the vanilla extract in these can sometimes turn yellow or brown. So it's kind of a mix between either, but it is such a nice soft gourmand. Like if you don't really like 
Gourmands, this definitely has a yellow cake essence, but not like Vanilla Company Sparkle. It's like a softer, deeper, richer vanilla cake with a hint of spice. So I'm super excited to use these two up. I feel like it's going to go fast um, because it's not super strong, but I think it's me amazing. So next we'll get the last, never mind, that was an incorrect statement. To start off this next set, I have the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Shower Gel. The notes in this are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Yeah, I think the packaging on these shower gels were honestly super ugly. Like, they could have done so much more. They could have made it, you know, like the lotions and actually had like a nice full wrap. But they didn't, so, you know. Yeah, this shower gel definitely smells way more bready than the rest of the set does. But it starts out with the shower gel. And then obviously, I've shown the lotion. Again, the notes are maple seal syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Yeah, and this definitely has that bready note, but a hint more like caramel. And then we have the fine fragrance mist, which will spray on my arm. And the fragrance mist definitely has the most of a true maple syrup note. And honestly, I saw these mists at the outlet when I got the coconut candy apple, and I should have gotten more. I should have like taken back my other one and gotten more of these because they're just so much stronger. But if that ends up being a problem, maybe I'll be thankful for that. But you never know. Okay. Um, next thing starts off with my Berry Waffle Cone Foaming Mousse or Cleansing Body Mousse. And then it's our Sweet Star Berry Golden Waffle Cone and Creamy Vanilla. Yeah, it's just that bready waffle cone berry smell. And I really do like this um, for shaving and also for just using the butter wash. It's very luxurious. And because I don't have a shower gel for this one, this is the Vanilla Mocha Cream Body Cream. The nuts are Cozy Cappuccino Vanilla Orchid and White Taco Bean. When I first smelled this, or when I first heard about it, there's the color. There. But, um, sorry for shaking, but I totally thought this was going to be a stronger latte, like, cappuccino type of scent. Like, most of the YouTubers are saying. I don't know if, like, they just don't have many coffee scents people are able to reference but this is like the lightest coffee scent ever it's coffee enough but i would have preferred a stronger coffee scent not necessarily like a coffee bean in your face scent but more coffee and less just like creamy milky smell so it is a very milky coffee so honestly this would be more like a cappuccino to me and it does say cappuccino but like uh, Honestly, it is kind of like a cappuccino because cappuccinos have lots of milk froth. So, I also have the mist, and I have used these a few times before, um, but I would say the mist is stronger on um, the coffee note. But you definitely get that. It's Tonka. Yeah, you definitely get the Tonka, and it really does help deepen up that coffee smell. <laughs> but I wish there was more. So, next is starting off with the Sunset Glow Moisturizing Body Wash. Um, I think this is my last Sunset Glow Moisturizing Body Wash because I used the last one with actual Sunset Glow and this was my one because I knew I had some items that would pair with this nicely. I didn't have body washes because for some reason I can't find body washes for like half of my sets. Honestly, like it's weird. Anyways, um, the notes are fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, and caramelized vanilla. And it's just like a sparkly, fruity scent. And honestly, this doesn't match super well with the body care. But it's totally fine. And the body care is none other than Raspberry Chiffon. This is in the same collection as with Sweet Whiskey from the one that I just updated on. And um, I love this scent. It is black raspberry, iced pear, and milk sugar. I like raspberry and I like pear. So, yeah. It is a super sweet hint of bubbly, maybe. But super sweet, fruity, like girly scent and um the lotion is kind of like a medium yellow right now and the body cream and this one definitely has like a deeper raspberry cream scent but the this one has definitely more of a raspberry candied scent and it is just so pretty and last but certainly not least I have my bonus set so this would be kind of like the midnight amber glow where I'm just using it to have an extra buffer set this one I'm not tasting because I've had it many times but I like this scent a lot and it is just a buffer set to be worked on or used 
when like I don't want to use the other stuff or I run out of something you know what I mean that kind of thing so starts out with a strawberry pound cake shower gel now it's a fresh strawberry golden shortcake and whipped cream and funny story about this one I thought I had lost it and I went through all my semi-annual sale, semi sale videos and I was like where is this and then my mom found it in the other bathroom which I never shower in I mean never only if I absolutely have to so this was in there from the like one time I did shower in there of course but yeah anyways I love the scent it's one of my favorites I've used up a full set already and I just keep getting it so yeah I did used to have the body cream but I switched it out for the um body lotion just because I like the formula better obviously but it's a soft sweet strawberry scent and a hint of cakiness and this uh set of strawberry pound cake is definitely way lighter I mean like 70% lighter than the one from the original bake shop collection from spring of 2020 I believe when like coconut cream pie first came out so yeah it is so much lighter like that one was like two spritzes and like you're like coughing because it's like so strong and this one's so much lighter like 70% lighter but it's still a nice scent and I feel like this one definitely has less of the strawberry note and um more of like a creamy whipped cream cake note which is fine but I do need to smell the one that came out this year with like blueberry sugar pancakes and that stuff I need to smell that because if that one has more of the strawberry note again I definitely want to pick that that one too so oh yeah that is a very long video but hope you guys enjoyed it and watched till the end let me know comment a strawberry emoji down below or like a cake emoji something like that or pumpkin so yeah strawberry cake or pumpkin so let me know if you watched the whole video i definitely suggest watching on two times speed because um long videos are great on two times speed so thank you guys all so much for watching and i'll see you later bye